Hello everybody. How's everybody doing today? Oh, I'm so glad to be here and see y'all. I've had a rough day. Um, this woman ran into me this morning in my car, crashed my car. Um, I'm not hurt, thank goodness. I don't even have my apron on. Goodness, hold on a minute. Um, Sorry, y'all. I'm still a little discombobulated. Um, yeah, we had this incident. I was driving from my friend's house, and um, this woman just backed out and just slammed into me and probably totaled my car. I couldn't get out. She had slammed my door to where it wouldn't open, and then she tried to leave the scene of the accident, and I'm on the one phone with 911 screaming, Bitch! <laughs> You can't leave. Get back here. And, uh, oh, it was a total ordeal. And as of yet, the insurance, she has not reported. Oh, look at that big glob. Did y'all see that? Oh, goodness. Horrible big glob. Why is that? Oh, I stirred that. Anyway, um, I have to watch more closely what comes out of this cup. I stirred all that. I don't know how that got a big lob in it, but it sure did. Anyway, um, so she tries to leave, and she couldn't get out because my car was blocking her in. And then her boyfriend or son or whoever he was comes over and tries to get me to move my car so she could get out, which I, of course, would not do. Even if I could have, I, it wasn't drivable, so I couldn't have done that even if I had wanted to. Of course, I did not want to and would not if I could see what she was trying to do, and I'm wasn't gonna do that so um when, then the cops finally got there and um got it all worked out well we don't have it worked out but it's clearly her fault but if she disputes what i said to the insurance company then it can drag out everything until the accident report's available which will be you know days and in the meantime i'm out of car and we'll have to pay out of pocket for me to get a car until they decide that they're going to cover the accident um, or not cover it however they're going to decide and that's going to be based on talking to her but as of now she's avoiding her own insurance company because we talked to them this afternoon and they have yet to be able to get a hold of her so that doesn't surprise me seeing as how she was trying to leave the accident scene you know which is a felony um, and I told the cops that. It's on the 911 call, me screaming at her in my colorful language. <laughs> um, yeah, it's on there. Um, I'm not ashamed of it. Um, anyway, that is quinacridone. Not quinacridone. That is dioxazine purple. And this is fluorescent pink. So anyway, I was hoping if I did some painting, I would feel better because I've been kind of bummed all day um, about it. I was hoping I could get a rent car today. Uh, I just don't like feeling, you know, at the mercy of other people, you know, not having a way to go and everything. And so, um, but that's what I am. And I can't do anything about it tonight. But he apparently was not able to get a hold of her because he told me he would call me back after he talked to her, if he talked to her. And if he didn't, he would call me tomorrow. So he never called me back. So that means he didn't get in touch with her. She doesn't want to talk. She wanted to leave. <laughs> um, she's having, well, eventually she's going to have a worse day than I had. But right now, she's doing okay and I'm without a car. And then that, that last one was um, Prussian Blue, and this is Emerald Green by Master Touch. And it's kind of a funny color for Emerald Green, if you ask me, because I think of a real bright green when I think of Emerald Green. But anyway, that's what it is, and uh, I think it's pretty, and I want to use it on something. And that's all I'm gonna do color-wise this time. I'm trying not doing as many colors seeing how that works out um but i'm also mixing a little more around the edges you know swirling them together a little bit more um i want all of my colors to come through and i've had some issues with that and um 
Y'all, I was so mad, and I wanted to do something painting. You know, I wanted to paint really bad when I got home. You know, because I had all this stress pent up and everything, and and I couldn't think of anything to do. And I was just feeling, uh, you know, uh, that adrenaline dump that you get after something like that. And um, I couldn't, I, I could not feel creative at all for about like an hour or something. I just didn't feel anything. And I thought, oh shit, I've lost it. You know, I'm no longer creative. I can't paint. I can't, you know, I'm not going to be able to work. I, you know, it just really uh, threw me for a little while. It scared me. I guess, you know, because there you are just driving along, and the next thing you know, whammo, you know. Um, and she hit my car bad enough. She hit right up bunch the, above the front, like above the front tire. It smushed the tire, the fender into the tire. It bent the hood. It pushed the fender over my door. That's why I couldn't open it. And um, busted all the lights out. You know, it was bad. And I'm grateful that I'm not hurt and that they had insurance at least. Although, the, you know, they aren't being real cooperative at this point. At least they exist. So, we'll see. You know how it goes. These kind of things. I don't know how long people can't just do the right thing. You know, is it just so hard to do the right thing? But, I guess it is. Um... I'm gonna blow this one with my mouth a little bit first, and then if I need the hair dryer, I'll get it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to it well enough to do this, but I just like them better blown, hand blown, or mouth blown, however you wanna put that. Let's see. Well, I'm not gonna be able to do much with it without pouring paint all the way down my front. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get the hair guard. Okay, we get the hair guard then. I'm gonna let this mini do that. We're just gonna let it come back into place. I wanted it to be centered, and I can't ever seem to center anything. Probably because I don't see so well. But I was just wanting to blow this one out just a little bit and then let the spinning do the rest of that and see what happens. In fact, I blew it more than I meant to. I got a little carried away. My adrenaline is still doing funny things. And this was not by any means a horrible car crash or anything, you know, and thank God nobody was injured. And, you know, I just am astounded at the lengths people will go to to shirk responsibility and not do the right thing. I just, you know, it just is my pet peeve. And I don't understand it. If that had been me, because this happened to me one time, I hit a lady in Houston. I did not see her. She was in my blind spot. And I went to change lanes and hit her front fender. And when they got there, I told them, I said, I didn't see her. She was in my blind spot and I didn't see her. It was my fault. You know, everybody makes mistakes, just say it. It was my fault. You know, it's not so hard to do. And it's gonna come out in the end anyway. I mean, me screaming, hey bitch, you can't leave, this is an accident, is on the 911 call. You know, so you're not gonna get away with it anyway. So might as well do the right thing from the start. And then you don't look like a fool in the end. Aside from that, um, if you just avoid your insurance company, if you've had an accident like this and you just avoid your insurance company and you don't answer the phone like this girl's doing, they'll send a state trooper to your house. Because I didn't know a long time ago when I was younger, I had an accident and um, I ran through a fence on somebody's property and I didn't know I needed to talk to the insurance company. So I just didn't. Well, they sent a state trooper to my house and he was not happy. And he said, you're going to go in there and make that call right now while I wait, or I'm going to arrest you. And I was like, okay, well, then I'll be going to make that call. Can I get you some coffee? I'll be right back. <laughs> you know, holy shit, scared me to death. You know, um, anyway, uh, I just, 
I know you can't, you know, things like this, you, you can't run away from it. You can't avoid it. You might as well just face it. And, um, so it's all good. It'll all work out. I was just trying to even this up a little bit before we spin it because I know it's going to be our wanker side of it, but it hadn't all moved down to the center yet, which is why I'm still talking. I'm waiting on it to move all back into the center good. I blew it straight into the center and, and I was trying to, I like the way this is blown because it's more like mouth blown to me. Look at the cells. See, it's already got some cells and, um, and lacing and stuff. And I'm hoping when I spin it, it'll just further that out. Um, even some cells around the edges and stuff. And I tried to put more pillow paint like that lady suggested um, that left me that nice comment. Um, so we just have to wait for a few more minutes. But anyway, I had, I was really stressed and I thought all I want to do is get home and paint. And then I got home and I couldn't think of what I wanted to paint. You know, I was having a moment and that's very frustrating feeling, you know, to want to, I was talking about that the other day, you know, to feel like painting and not know what you want to paint. And uh, that's how I felt for a while. And so I had to just wait around and I looked at YouTube some and looked at Facebook some and, you know, I tried to get inspired. I saw some pretty things. I saw some ugly things and I try to get myself in the mood to, to do something. And, uh, usually, I just it just takes some time, but well, that made a big old dent in the middle there um, when I put that hair dryer to it, boy. I just want to move it kind of centered a little bit before we spin it because I am really hoping that all my colors get. I know it's not all moved back in the center. That's why it's not all moving, but I'm getting really impatient, so. Let's just do it. I just want to see. Cool. Listen to my turntable. Kagunk, kagunk, kagunk. I like that one. I think we should spin it again. God, I wish I could talk. I think my spinner really would be better if it went faster. You know, it, it's not a very well-oiled machine. It's a pretty rickety piece of crap. <laughs> but it does do, it does, that's very pretty. Yeah, I guess it gets the job done. I don't know. I'm gonna just tilt these corners off and, God, I'm halfway. I mean, I almost want to just leave it like that. It's kind of pretty with those borders around it. See, that's kind of cool. But I'm going to see if I can tilt it. So, yes, I've had an eventful day. And uh, I'm grateful. I'm grateful to be home painting. That adjuster asked me, and what was the speed limit on the road you were on? <laughs> As if I would know that. It's some little back road pig trail. I don't know what the speed limit is on it. I told him, I said, look, I just pulled onto it. I haven't passed the speed limit sign. But it's a county road, and their speed limits are generally 30. So, I don't know. You have to ask the officer that shit. I don't know. Um... Like they're already preparing for a fight, you know. And it annoyed me, so. I think this one is really pretty, y'all. I think this one's gonna be really pretty. And I'm liking the advice that I got about putting a bigger pillow on there. I think that's helpful. I think that's been a good thing. And I may start putting a pillow on my flip cups and stuff again because she said something in there, and, and I don't know if she meant this or not, but maybe the zigzaggies are formed from not having enough paint underneath your paint. You know, the zigzaggies that sometimes happen when you're pouring paint off? I don't know that, but it's possible. So I may try putting my pillow back and see if uh, the zigzaggies still happen. 
Okay, I'm just trying to get it back to the middle and then I'm gonna do that corner over there. I really like that emerald green, that's pretty. And I like these canvases. This is a nice canvas size and uh, shape for doing this turntable thing. I'm trying to keep it where y'all can see. Yeah, this is a really pretty one, I think. It's got nice cells and it's got nice lacing. I'm proud of this one. If I can finish it without dropping it or smudging it or otherwise screwing it up. That's happened to me before, you know. Um, nobody ever really talks too much about the stages after you make a really nice painting. But like when you're transferring it to where it's gonna dry and when you're moving it back and forth and you know, the things that can happen like dropping it, the cat jumping on it, you know, things like that. I've had things like that happen and you just wanna scream. This is beautiful. Get it back to the center a little bit. I think I had the right amount of cell activator this time. Could even have a little more maybe. But it is the right consistency, I think, and it's um, it was the right amount. You can see the lacing pretty well. There's some really pretty cells and stuff, and I didn't add any silicone or any other kind of stuff to it. I just, this is just paint, and um, it does have bright tone as the varnish, but other than that, this is just paint in the mix. I didn't add any glue, no silicone, no, you know, uh, additives. beautiful cells really pretty but that pink is just popping through there's a girl on um, Facebook and I don't know how you say her name but it looks like Alina Christ or Christ Christ her stuff is so pretty her blooms are beautiful um, I, I look at her stuff to make me inspired I think maybe one day mine will look that good if I keep working on it that one is nice. If I do say so myself, I like that one. And I hope you guys like it too. I still haven't put the picture back up that I knocked over the other day. Right there. <laughs> uh, I'll get to it. Ow. This is the one I did the other day that I didn't get enough cell activator in. I may redo that. I like that one, but um, um, I may redo it. Okay, let's get the bright light off. So we can see better. Okay, little turntable. Turn a little further. There we go. All right. Let's look here. See those little bitty pops of pink in there? Really pretty. I think I'll do another one of these after this. I really like that pink and the green too. Really pretty. Yeah, she's one of those people I really admire her stuff. She's really good. They are all beautiful. I haven't seen her on YouTube, but she's on Facebook. Could be on YouTube. I haven't looked. All right, you guys. Thanks for joining me, listening to me rant, being there. Um, I appreciate it. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your day, and um, join me next time. Don't forget about me. I'm here. All right. I appreciate all of y'all. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for um, comments and everything. I really, really am liking all of that. 
Y'all are helping me out. I'm working really hard to grow my channel, and you guys are pulling your side of the weight, and I really appreciate it. It's really cool. Thanks a lot. See you next time.